Justice lies with the holy sword. These words had been passed down in the kingdom for generations. All citizens of Paltina lived by them. Idra was no exception, and the words had given her comfort during hard times, allowing her to draw strength from her misfortunes. Now, the Bronchian Empire had fallen, and only the kingdom of Phantasinia survived. Idra stood alone in the great temple, holy sword in hand, haunted by Nisaya's last words. The island rose higher and higher, reaching the boundary between the earth and the skies, at last entering Heaven's Gate. A single ray of light shone down onto the southern region of the island. What's that? Those wings. Is she an angel? has always been involved in wars. It's good for nothing but hatred, anger, and suffering. I don't pretend to be psychic, Princess. But I'm pretty sure you know what we're thinking, right? You'd have to. We're all thinking the same thing. You're right. Guardian Angel of the Realm of the Gods. Were you not led here by the fallen angel Nisaya? I forbid you to enter any further. Return to your world. Angelic Lady, we came to the island to defeat Nisaya. We have done so, and found ourselves here. That sword you carry, the Grand Centurio, the holy sword that Nisaya created. That blade has been the cause of all strife on Earth. Have you come to brandish such an evil weapon in Asgard? Uh. Hear the words of the gods. Draw thy blade for eternal sin, else lay thine edge to rest. Whether you heed their words or disregard them, it is for you to decide, humans. Draw thy blade for eternal sin, else lay thine edge to rest. <sighs> this is too big for us. Only you can decide this one. With a sword will only cause more strife. Lay thine edge to rest. I will seal the sword here. Princess! It's true that this sword contains absolute power. Because of that power, it has sparked countless wars, all of which the kingdom emerged from victorious. Over time, my family came to rely on this sword. But that only leads to history repeating itself. The sword offers only an illusion of justice. Idra? The world without war you mentioned to me. The world Kilie wanted. A place where everyone can live in peace. 
That's a dream I share. To achieve it, I must break the chain of hatred. If this is what it takes to do so, then I gladly surrender my sword. <sighs> if that's the way you feel, go for it. Milenor. Yggdra's no princess anymore. She's a true queen now. She chose what's best for the entire world. What she's trying to do, no king has ever accomplished. I kind of like it. I'm gonna stand by her and make it work. What about you all? I am a humble royal knight at your service, my queen. Need you help too! A world without war. <laughs> I'd better brush up on my healing spells then. No battles. I'd have to retire. Flone would like that. Finally. World my comrade yearned for! My life is yours. I'll do anything you wish. A world where I can finally live as a peaceful housewife. Everybody, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Milenor. Well, it's about time to wrap this up. We've got to begin immediately back on Earth, right? Yes. In the name of La Pucelle, O oh, Holy Sword, I lay thee down now and always. Rest eternally in this land. I commend your decision to part with what you have relied so much upon. That is not a decision undertaken lightly. Your courage is a shining example for your kind. However, the land below is still in chaos. Merely wishing for peace will not make it so. <sighs> for that reason, I give you this. What is this? So spake our gods. Nations shall be ruled not through might, but wisdom. The staff is for that purpose. It will replace your holy sword, Queen Yggdra. For one who has forsaken war, it is a fitting tool. Thank you. I have seen a ray of hope in the land below. Whether it will flourish or fade away, I cannot foresee. It is in your hands, O oh Queen. Your ideals should be passed on for generations to come. Those of us in Paradise shall never forget your courage. Yet we must now part. This is not a place for the living. I shall return Ancardia to the bottom of the sea. Farewell, Queen Yggdra, and her brave followers. May your futures be bright and filled with peace. May the gods bless you for all eternity. Since King Paltineus' founding of the Kingdom of Phantasinia, the Holy Sword Grand Centurio has lit a path for the Kingdom in the name of Justice. At the close of the war with Bronchia, Yggdra, the 32nd monarch of Phantasinia, renounced all military force forever and sealed the holy sword in the great temple. She vowed never to allow war to give rise to any more sorrow or hatred. Acknowledging this, the guardian angel Marietta gave Yggdra the holy scepter of wisdom, and Yggdra swore to be driven by wisdom rather than power. A gentle breeze has begun to flow, bringing a new age of peace to Paltina.